Oh, man. Yep, yep. Y'all know what time it is. Mm-hmm. Yep. Oh, skeptical fan with the two dollar. What's up, man? Appreciate the super chat. My boy Q Childs. Prince, what's up? Jay Ishan, what's up? Sticky fingers. Oh boy. What's up? Oh, Lord. Amador Mamarez, what's up? Mm. I don't even know where to begin. What's up? Think sharp. What's up? Ninja nuts. What's up? Ed, what's up? Oh, Lord. You know what? I think. Forget the Dallas Cowboys being cursed. I think 1980s cursed. Yep. yep. The Dallas Cowboys ain't cursed. It's me, guys. It's 1980. I'm the one that's cursed. I'm the one that's cursed, man. It ain't the Cowboys. Nope. Mm -mm. Not by a long shot. It, it's not the Cowboys' fault. It's not their fault, guys. It's my fault. Yep. It's my fault. We got 33 people on, in here, guys. So let me go ahead. And, here we go, guys. Uh, Thursday. Four down. One to go. You know what? Speaking of curse, I think the Cowboys can read my mind. That's what I said. Yep, let me say it again. I think the Dallas Cowboys can read 1980s mind. They know exactly what I'm thinking. Every day they know. Cause you know what? I say this all the time, but seriously, 1980 was not going to make a video today. I wasn't going to go live. I was going to take a break because I made a video yesterday. Remember the video I made yesterday? Some, who got cut? Lance Lenore got cut. And that wasn't even a real video. Hey, Sheila, what's up? That wasn't even a real video. That was just like a, ah, well, you know, that's what I do now. I don't feel like talking all that crap. I ain't doing all that. That wasn't even a real, the one I made about an hour ago wasn't even a real video. That was just like, man, I'm tired of this shit. But the Dallas Cowboys know exactly what I'm thinking. They knew that I didn't want to get on here and do work. They knew I didn't want to talk about the Cowboys. I wanted to take a day off. Like seriously, I didn't want to talk about the Cowboys today. I did not want to talk nothing Cowboys today. I just didn't. I didn't feel like it. Hell, I'm human. But I be damned. <laughs> they said, oh, no, 1980. You're not taking a day off. Who do you think you are? I mean, they just, they know exactly what I'm, where I'm coming from. They know what I'm thinking. I can't even not talk about the Cowboys. I can't even purposely be like, nah, I ain't doing shit. I ain't fucking Cowboys. I ain't talking about them today. I can't even do that. Think of something. They'll, they'll just think of something. Like, ah, oh, let me see. Off the top of the head, uh, uh. Matter of fact, I'm Jerry, guys. Let's see. Uh, 1980. 1980 wants to take a day off. Did you hear that? You can't be rich. Let me repeat. I'm, I'm Jerry Jones, guys. You can't be rich by taking days off. No man can be rich. You gotta work every day. 
Let's see. Let me think. Uh, Randy. Uh, uh, let's see. Randy Gregory. No, no, not Randy Gregory. Not Randy Gregory. Robert Quinn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Robert, for two damn games from violating the substance abuse policy of the NFL. People say, oh, 1980, it ain't that bad. I just got through talking to a guy, uh, uh, you know, leaving work. He said, oh, man, it ain't that bad, man. He was just taking some uh, uh, some kind of enhancement pills or something that um, for his seizures or something like that. I said, I don't give a damn. Shit. Stop trying to make excuses. That's the problem. Now you know he y'all know he broke his hand. Broke his hand uh the other day, fractured hand or whatever, same thing. Every time you break something, fracture something, pull something, they gonna test you. That's their way of sneakingly testing you. Every time you get hurt, they gonna test you. That's just like at work. Every time you test something up, you get hurt, cause an accident, they gonna give you a drug test. <laughs> that's just what they do. That's how they sneakingly give it. I don't even know. I don't even know if that's a word. I really don't care. But that's how they sneakingly give you drug tests. I'm just. This ain't even worth talking about. I don't even know why I'm live right now. Why am I live? And why are y'all listening to me? I, I just. <laughs> This is why 1980 don't have no hair. I thought it was hereditary. No, 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 no. It's being a cowboy fan. All throughout the years. Born into being a cowboy fan. Born into this situation. It ain't a check big enough for us, y'all. Just to be a fan. It ain't a check big enough. And seriously, they should pay us. <laughs> When I got the alert, y'all know what happened when I got that alert on my phone? I was like, oh boy. Uh-oh, Zeke, Zeke, yeah. Come on, Zeke. Uh-uh. No. It wasn't Zeke. Mm-mm. It wasn't Coop. It wasn't that. Nope. It was something negative. <laughs> Man, you know something? Speaking of the word think, cowboys know what I'm thinking. You know, speaking of that word think, you must, that must not be a requirement in the physical. Seriously. It must not be a requirement to be able to think to be in the NFL. You know, they do little IQ tests. You know, they do that. You, you, that thinking must not be a requirement in that in that section. Like seriously, it's just being able to think. They're like a oh, forty-yard dash, shuttle, bench press, high jump. Uh, let's see, skills test, DB drill, running back drill. Uh, let's see, uh, think. Oh no, we don't need that. Uh, let's see, blocking. Uh, they just skip right over that. <laughs> They just skip right over think. Do y'all agree? I mean, and maybe I'm blowing this out of proportion. But it didn't say, it didn't say the Dallas Cowboys are thinking about suspending because they want to investigate about the type of hormones or, or enhancement that he was using or whatever he's suspended <laughs> there is no thinking to it he is suspended but is that a bad thing he did hurt his hand he's supposed to be out until week one so maybe this happened for the best maybe this happened so he can really heal his hand up like it's supposed to he won't come back too early. Because, you know, when your hands, you come back too early and all that shit, you re-injure it and all that stuff. Maybe that's the, you know, maybe that's the problem. I mean, maybe think of the back side of it. Let 1980 think, you know, I always try to find the positive things in life. Let 1980, look at the bright side of the situation. 
Or maybe that gives, gives a chance for somebody else to step up and, you know, but, you know, I've heard, you know, I've been hearing he's had a good camp, a great camp up until now, up, up until the injury, I, I should say. Uh, he was supposed to start, supposed to be him on one side, D-Law on the other. This guy was supposed to be, you know, we were supposed to have a good front seven with, with Quinn on board. But, you know, now Taco, can Taco uh, step up to the plate like he's supposed to? They cutting people left and right now. Hell, they cut Rico. They cut Lenore. Uh, who else? They cut some other people. I can't remember who they were. They weren't big names, but they cut some other guys. Who's next? See, that's why. How's the grass, man? It's still dry as hell. Yeah, we ain't getting no rain here. I've been trying to water it and shit, but I didn't want to put too much fertilizer on it because I don't want to burn it. Because last time I did that shit, I burned it. I had to wait for it to grow back. Let me read some of the comments, man. I just been running my mouth. Sorry, guys. I'm driving too, so. It's just, I, maybe it wasn't his fault. Maybe it was something that he needed for, you know, like the guy at work said. Somebody, I don't know. Well, I don't know what they, I, don't, I, I was barely listening to him. He said that he needed some, some type of medication or uh, muscle enhancement or something for seizures or something like that. I ain't hear nothing about that yet, but hell, it didn't pass. <laughs> it didn't pass, so. But I didn't make that up. I mean, I. Tom, what's up, man? He should appeal. Now, if, in that case, he should. If it was something that was to help him, you know, and it wasn't drug related or whatever, you know, I can understand. Okay, hey man, hey, this ain't this ain't what that is. I need a fair shake, you know. Then I close my mouth. But right now he's suspended. I'm mad about it. Because I'm grown. I can be mad if I want to. So it's all not a big deal. Okay. Say that week one. When we need that food on the other side. He's Dwayne said, if Rico go to another team and, and become a beast, I want the entire coaching staff on, on offense gone. I heard that. No, nah, no Zeke news, man. Same. I thought, I thought that was the alert I was getting on my phone. I, that's what I was hoping and wishing and praying for. I was like, oh, I got that, that, that cowboy logo. And I was like, uh-oh. Oh, here we go. Yeah. They done signed Zeke. They done signed all three all three triplets. Nope. Suspension. Fooled you, 1980. <laughs> you thought it was gonna be something positive, didn't you? <laughs> yep. Here we go. That's why I say here we go, guys. Before every video, because you don't. I, here we go. <laughs> Here we go again. Yeah, man. They need to do something. We should be all right without him against. Yeah, yeah. The, the Giants and the dead skin. Yeah, that's what that's what another guy was saying. He was like, well, 1980s, you know, think about it, man. We got the Giants and the Redskins, so we should be pretty good. You know, I you don't um, say that's true to a certain extent. I stop. Un this is a football. This is a professional sport. Trap games, anything can happen. Games that you think are going to be a shoe in for us, we fuck around and lose. Look what happened to Indianapolis last uh, last year. They kicked. We didn't even score. We didn't get a field goal. We didn't even get in field goal range. We, that was supposed to be a blowout. We were supposed to, oh, we're going to get We're going to beat the Colts. Oh, we got that game. Uh-uh. They embarrassed us. We didn't, even get, we didn't even get in field goal range. We just got our asses handed to it. No excuse. Seriously. So I'm, I'm done with, the, oh, we got that game. Oh, we got, nah, I ain't doing that no more. Mm -mm. Nope. 
The NFL ain't predictable no more. Back in the day, back in the 90s, Hogs all West a win. New York, all West a win. Philly, up win. Arizona, up win. <laughs> Buffalo, up win. You know, go down the list. I right, win. Only time we lost if it was a mistake. We made a mistake, had a bad game, you know. We can't do that no more. I don't, I don't know where our coaching is to say that. Medication. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm hearing. It's some type of medication. If it's something like that, man, that's kind of, that's not, that's not cool by the NFL, man, to suspend the guy two games. I, did they even look into the shit? When did he take the test? This show was fast, but he just got hurt. <laughs> shit. Did they look into why he failed the test? Did they check his... Oh, man. I'm... <laughs> it's like the Cowboys are a magnet. Magnet. He should, he should say, my, when we won those three Super Bowls, my dad had an afro. Now he's bald. See? See what I'm saying? He lost his hair too, being a Cowboy fan. I'm telling you. Truth, what's up? It's crazy, man. But yeah, anytime you get hurt, man, they gonna, they gonna sneak that drug test in there. I'm telling you. It's fucked up when you get hurt, they do that shit. But they got different ways they can check your blood and all that shit. They can do that, man. And that's what they did. I think that's what they did. They checked, they, they uh, they probably started the surgery process on his hand. And they probably got some blood from him. And that's how they found, you know, the medication still in his system or whatever. I'm not a doctor. I might not be 100% right, but that sound about right. I mean, I really lose. What's up? Yeah, that's ridiculous, man. Need a meet and greet. Yeah, man, I'm going to see what I can do. Queen came from the uh, uh, Dolphins. Dolphins didn't want to blow Oh, man. Yeah, hair used to be black, now it's gray. Yep. Yep. Either gray or bald. Pick one. No, we got some games tonight. We got a little football tonight, guys. We got, I don't even know who we got. Giants and the Jets or something like that. Who ain't it two games and a doubleheader tonight? I know it's the Giants and the Jets. Who else playing? Anybody know? Are my, ki are my kids popular at school? <laughs> no, nah, man. It ain't, it ain't that. It ain't to that point yet. I know I was at the draft. It was weird. I was at the draft. Uh, what was that? Two years ago. Uh, when it was here at at and Stadium. And man, I was signing people's shirts, signing autographs, taking, you know, people asking me for a selfie. It was crazy, man. I was like, man, I ain't nobody. Shit. <laughs> man, I had people come up to me, man. Hey, man, let me get a selfie with you, 1980, you know? It was crazy. I was like, wow. I felt pretty, it made me feel pretty good, though. You know, hard work, not really hard work, but, you know, YouTube work pays off, I guess, you know? And it was pretty cool, man, to meet up with, with some of the other uh, bloggers. I met my Cowboys family. I met uh, Dallas Cowboys Football News. I was trying to meet up with Mark Holmes, but I couldn't get over there. Uh, who else did I meet? Oh, Cowboys blog, I met him. Redskins versus, Redskins versus Browns, is it? Yeah, I had a lady on my route, her husband. She was like, oh my God, uh, she, she scared me. She's like, oh my God, is that you? I said, I said, me? I said, what, what do you mean me? What you? <laughs> she was like, basketball fan 1980? She's like, my husband's a big fan of yours. 
And um, she's like, oh my God, can I get a picture? And I was like, I, I guess, yeah. I was out smelling and shit. I was working and stuff. You know how I did? <laughs> shit. That shit was, she was, it was crazy, man. But it was cool, though. It was really cool. There's like eight games today. Damn, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, 11 games? Damn. Shoot. Got some football, man. Then we play Saturday. Oh, I can't wait. Hey, make sure, make sure, guys, after the game, Saturday, we're doing the round table. It'll be my Cowboys family. It'll be fifth quarter Cowboys. It'll be Dallas Cowboys football news. Uh, it'll be on my channel, and it'll be on my fam my Cowboys family's channel. We'll be doing a, a round table over the game. And obviously events that have happened all the way up until the game Saturday. So make sure y'all tune in, man. Seriously, it'll be uh, after the game, so it'll be later on at night. You know, 10, 10.30, maybe 11. It'll be a late one, but, uh, you know, if you're a Cowboy fan, make sure y'all tune in, man. I'm telling you. Masha always go on afterwards. Masha's cool dude, man. Make sure y'all uh, holler, holler at Masha, man. He get in the jersey you want. Robbie, what's up, man? Hey, I don't know. You tell me. I'm bad luck. Cowboys knew what I was thinking today. So I'm bad luck. 1980 is bad luck when it comes down to the Cowboys. Every time I say I'm not going to do a video or, or a live stream, they do something. Something happens. Seriously. Every time. I live in, oh, she looks living in Skins territory. Oh, bless your heart. That's all right, though. Represent. Yeah, my cool guy. Cool guy. He's the king of live stream. Cowboys facing the house. Cowboy, there's another uh, creative content cowboy guy, man. So y'all make sure y'all check out Cowboys Face, man. Really good channel, man. Yeah, man. I, I'm not going to blow this out of proportion today. It was just shocking to hear it. You know, when you hear somebody get suspended, your first thought is like, oh, shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, DJ Dowell, I know, right? Dowell, next man up. That's how you got to do it, man. Like, seriously, next next guy up, please. Who, who next? If you don't want to act right, come on. Come on, man. Who, who, come on. Who next? <laughs> Shit. You don't want to play? Somebody else will play. Super cool. What's up? We always got something going. That's it. That, 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 and that's the thing that bothers me. Why we got to be, why, why I got, why does 1980 got to be on here talking about the Cowboys? Y'all didn't, y'all was not supposed to hear from me today. I was supposed to go home, get off work and ride off into the sunset. Seriously. But no, nope. Mm -mm. Somebody heard me. Somebody said, oh no, 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 1980. Who do you think you are thinking you're going to take a day off from talking about the damn Dallas Cowboys. Who do you think you are? Don't make sense, man. Fifth quarter in the house, man. Another, my boy. My big little brother. Make sure y'all, hey. He trying to get to a thousand subs, man. Fifth quarter Cowboys. Y'all go and just sub to him. He start, man, this guy's a knowledgeable guy. I'm like, seriously, seriously. The king of debate. You're not going to win a debate with fifth quarter. I'm telling you that. I'm telling you, I'm telling you that now. Go to his page. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell. Check him out. He hasn't made videos in a while, but he's starting to come around. He's been working pretty hard. Job got him working or whatever. So y'all bear with him. But he's a part of the Dallas Cowboys roundtable crew. He will be on with us Saturday night after the game. Check everybody out. Ron Smith in the house. Another another everybody got youtube channel that's my boy too up and coming youtuber right there good good dallas diehard dallas cowboy fan fifth quarter cowboys king of the 50 i mean uh freaky friday but guys we just I, we just need a break i don't want the season to be over with before it even starts Come on, really? I mean, 
whole 1980 calm down. No, don't, don't, don't tell me to calm down. Tell them fools to calm down. Because I ain't the one out there fucking up. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't the one. I ain't the one out there messing up. Don't shoot the messenger. Go tell them. Go knock on their door. Tell them to calm down. People always got to have, oh, man, it's all right. It'll be fine. Just calm down. No, nah, man. Uh-uh. Don't tell them that. Go on, right now. Right now. Come on. Chop, chop. Go tell them that. Go knock on their door and tell them to calm down. Go knock on Zeke's door and tell them to calm down. Knock on Dax, Coops, Jerry, Steven, McLean, Cooper Rush. <laughs> tell all them fools to calm down. I already got it. There you go, Mike. Appreciate it, Michael Ward. There you go. You got you one, uh, DJ. You got you one, brother. He, he had 700 and something, 750 or something like that. Trying to get the boy to a thousand, man. I don't know what it was. Apparently, it was something, uh, it was some type of medication. And that, that's not fair. Don't go suspending somebody without knowing what the hell it is you suspending them for. That's just like shooting first and asking questions later. Oh, bam, bam. Oh, shit. What did what, he do? Well, why'd you shoot him? Hell, I don't know. Hell, he was running. <laughs> shit. Come on, man. At least ask him what the hell he got in his system. Before you take drug tests. But before they take blood, they ask you, hey, have you taken anything? Have you had any medication? Or have you, you know, that's what they ask me. They supposed to. That, the, uh, medicine for seizures, that's what old boy at my job told me. Wow. Medicine for seizures, and he gets suspended for two games. <laughs> Bless his heart. Poor baby. He didn't mean no harm. Why do that? Somebody need to suspend Robert Cad Roger, Roger Cadell. Like, seriously. Suspend his ass. He need to be suspended for, be for suspending people. Oh, man, what am I suspended for? For suspending Robert Quinn for having seizures. God. This country is, never mind, I ain't even go there. This NFL is, Whew. I know, I guess they want them to have, right, right, L. <laughs> I guess they want them to have seizures then, right. I thought on the field, just seizure. I guess they okay with that. Don't make sense. I was mad at him at first. I'm sorry. I was wrong. There I go. 1980, finally wrong about something and, and, and able to admit to it. I don't care about admitting if I'm wrong about something or if I overreact to something. But when you read somebody got suspended you, and being a Cowboy fan, you're like, oh, God damn. Who is it now? Bad. Bad experiences, man. When you had as many bad experiences as we had as Cowboy fans and players with drugs, players with dope, players get suspended, anytime you see that word, you're going to panic. And if you don't agree, I don't give a damn. <laughs> That's another t-shirt. If you don't agree, I don't give a damn. I guess that ain't that ain't good to know. At least he wasn't doing drugs. But they need okay. This is what they need to do. Since since they so damn strict about medicine and enhancements and all that stuff, they need to make a list, a long ass list. You know when you go and see when you make the team. Remember that in high school? Remember how you would go, say, oh shit, is my name up there? You go look on the damn bulletin board and say, oh shit, did I make the team? They need a list. I 
outside the damn locker room on what medicines to take, what not to take, and etc. Since they know every damn thing, since they want to suspend everybody for every little damn, they need that, man. That should be a requirement for the NFL to do. Like, oh man, I'm having seizures. I'm, I'm taking this medicine. Is, is this okay, sir? Oh, uh, well, no. Okay, well, don't test me then because I got this shit in my system. But yet they want to test somebody without even making them aware of what the hell is going on. Oh, well, you failed. What? What I do? Oh, well, you know, you, you, you're taking the medication for seizures. Well, damn, man, that's a medical, that's a medical problem. I mean, what's, I need it. Well, we don't care, you know. You, you play for the Cowboys and we want to make an example out of you guys. That's what we want to do. So we, we don't care. That's basically what they're saying. They don't give a damn. So what's next? He got to appeal that. That's right. Yeah, he got to appeal that shit. You see how I'm breaking it down? See, when you look at it like that, you're like, but damn. Hmm. Ain't that messed up? Impeach. I know. Imp <laughs> said impeach, Roger. Impeach his ass. Get his ass out of there. It sucks. NFL sucks. Casey, what's up, man? This don't make sense. Oh, man, you know what? I took some uh, Advil yesterday, so, you know, my head was hurt. Oh, wait, you're suspended. Damn. Well, I, I, I chewed a few, few times yesterday. My stomach was a little uneasy. Oh, you're suspended. You can't take Tom's. Oh, well, damn, uh, Mr. Goddell, I took some Pepto-Bismol yesterday because I kept shitting all over the damn place. Oh, you're suspended. You can't take te Pepto-Bismol. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm done, man. <laughs> I'm done, man. Can't even take Pepto Bismol. Oh, I had some allergies yesterday, so I'm taking some Advil colon sinus. How are you suspended? You play for the Cowboys? How are you suspended? Who you play for? Redskins? Oh, you, you're clear. Go ahead. You're good. What? But he just did the same. to it now. It don't even phase me no more. It's funny. If Zeke don't play at all, I'm going to laugh. If Zeke don't play none this season, I'm going I'm to laugh. I'm gonna... <laughs> but 1980, how is that funny? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> shit. I'm so used to bad shit happening to us, it's just funny. You've got, you've got a fever from taking care of your kids. Suspend it, goddammit. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, my God. I just got through taking some extra strength Tylenol. Tylenol Plus. Oh, suspend it. Yeah, it is. it's so annoying. It's funny. It is. <laughs> Woody Mac, I'm about to make you, I'm about to damn near have a wreck myself. Shit. Made love to my wife. I was suspended. <laughs> you be in traffic a couple of minutes late to Oxnard training camp practice. Oh, I'm suspended.
and the number one pick in the 2020 NFL Draft, selected to the Cowboys, I suspended. <laughs> Why you get suspended, man? Shit, because the Dallas Cowboys drafted me. Shit, they just suspended me. <laughs> Holding Tyron Smith, number 77. Five-yard penalty, suspended. Fuck it. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. Touchdown, Zeke. Zeke do the feed me. Suspended, fuck. Celebrate. Can't even celebrate no damn more. Man, I'm, this is getting out of hand. I, I can't. I need another vacation. I need to go on break again. Remember I went on break for you, from YouTube? I'm just, I think I'm gonna do that again. You know how when you watch the news, it's always something. Somebody always getting shot, getting killed, kidnapped, murdered, a wreck pile up, wrong way drivers, drunk drivers. You're like, why am I watching the news? Why watch the news? Sometimes I think, I still watch it. You know, I watch it for sports and the weather and stuff like that. But when all that shit come on, I just turn it off. I'd rather not know. I mean, does that make sense? I'd rather, hey man, did you hear about so and so? Man, 20 people got killed. Man, I don't wanna know about that. I'd rather not know. Like seriously. <laughs> Shit. Oh, somebody said, oh man, man, you gotta watch the news so you can know what's going on. Why? Why do I need to know that? I, I just, why do I need to know about the Cowboys? Something negative. What's next? I wonder what's gonna happen next before the season starts. It's gonna be something, watch. Watch. We already know Zeke ain't playing, so. I think, we'd all, I think we've already gotten over that fact. We already let that sunk in and marinate. Like, ah, oh, Zeke ain't gonna play. We might not even see him at all this year. Oh, well. Next man up. Who's next? Weber, Pollard, Morris, Jackson, who? Next man up. Yep. I'm tired, man. You know, you kick a dog so many times. They go, they gonna bite your ass back. They go, one of them times, like seriously. Yeah, it's just, it's, it's old. I don't even know what to say no more on this live stream. My brain is in limbo. <laughs> I don't care about depth chart. I'm not on here for stats. I don't care about none of that right now. Right now, this minute, I don't care. I don't care next man up. I don't care. Talk to me week one. I wish we could skip preseason, go right to the regular season. You don't want to get no more time for the Cowboys to fuck up something. Cause you, you, you just never know. Who, who's next? Who's gonna do something next? We already ain't got Zeke. Everybody bad mouthing Dak Prescott. We ain't Dak ain't played it down yet in the regular season. Everybody already say he gonna fuck up. Get out this lane because ain't nobody moving. Let's see what y'all talking about. 
Yeah, I really don't care about the preseason. I'm going to watch it, though. Something to talk about. Preseason is for the younger guys, up and coming young guys. Because nobody, I, th I think they said Dak is going to play like 12, 12 downs or something like that. We're going to see Dak a little bit in the 49er game, which is good because Dak needs to practice. Dak needs the reps, seriously. And Dak got to be ashamed of himself asking for more than 30 something million dollars. I think they said he wanted 37, 38 million. I'm like, come on, man. Dak, I love you and all. You, you, you're our quarterback. Uh, I'm, I got you back, but come on, dog. Stop it, man. Just stop. Y'all y'all just stop. And play football, man. Play football. That's all I want. I'm, I'm tired of the Zeke. If Zeke don't want to play, hell, hell with him. <laughs> I'm just... I'm tired, man. I've been tired for 25 years. That's a long damn time, man. Some people ain't even that old. Zeke don't want to play? All right, man. Fuck it, I don't care. Next man up. I was all for Zeke. Come on, man. We need Zeke. We got to have Zeke. Zeke, 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 Zeke. Making videos, trying to support the situation, trying to have his back, you know. But goddamn. You don't want to play? All right, man. Shit. I think Jerry and them might feel the same way, too. All right, man. We got Paula, man. We got Weber. We got guys in here that want to play. You don't want to play? Everybody's, everybody's replaceable. Best back in football, but goddamn. I'm tired of... I'm tired of babysitting grown folk feelings. Just, just tired. We just got to do without him. You got, you, got, you, got, you got to go on with your life. We can't stop. Like, oh, you know what? The Cowboys are not going to play. They're going to forfeit until Zeke comes back. That ain't going to happen. Cowboys for life in the house. What's up, dog? That, that ain't going to happen. I'm just, I'm done with it. Let's move on. Shit. You crying? And that's, once you start showing people that, people don't care until you don't care no more. You ever notice that? Somebody trying to get on your nerves. But when you ignore that person, they like, oh, damn, he don't even give a fuck. Oh, I'll leave him alone then. <laughs> fuck it. I ain't going to beg you, dog. You, you miss playing. You miss being out there. Yeah. Because that's what you played in Pop Warner for. When you played in Pop Warner, it was all pride. When you played in high school, it was all pride. When you played in college, it was all pride. Now that there's money involved, oh, I got to get paid. In which he deserves it, but goddamn, man. Cry me a river. Shit. You done fucked up all these times. Cowboys had your back all these times. They could have cut his ass um, when, he, they, when he was eating out of court all them times. That year he got suspended, 2017. They could have been like, ah, you know what, gone with this. We ain't got, Cowboys, we ain't got time for this. We need guys that want to play. We need mature guys that can stay in trouble. I mean, uh, stay out of trouble off, off the field. They could have cut him. Like, ah, you know what? Fuck, fuck it. No, see you, man. Go and get a regular job, man. Go punch a clock every day and you see how you feel. See how you act then. Like, seriously, man, when players get suspended, there should be a clause in their contract to say, work at McDonald's, work at Kroger. You got to do this shit or you ain't coming back. That should be a part of your community service. A player gets suspended, those weeks he out, he got to train, keep himself in shape, and he got to work a normal job. Work at McDonald's, work at Burger King, punch a clock every day, mop some flows. So you can see how the hell you got it right now. But see, no, they come from college, instant success. Instant damn success, they already rich. 
They come out of college, boom, they rich. Then all of a sudden, oh, you know what? When I flush the toilet, my shit, it don't stink no more. Mm. Anytime a player gets suspended, they need to put their asses, why they suspended? Put their asses at McDonald's. Say, here you go, here's your apron, here's your cap, get to work. So your punk ass can see how it feel to mop some floors for minimum wage. Clean toilets, all that shit. Get your punk ass in here and do this shit. Or you ain't coming back to the NFL. I'm tired of this shit, man. I'm so fucking tired of these young motherfuckers, man. I'm serious, dog. It don't make sense. Excuse my language. I normally don't cuss this much, but God. Every damn football player on their contract, it's the same. If you get suspended, if you violate the policy, if you do some stupid shit and get suspended, Yes, why why you're on suspension? Your ass is working a normal job. Oh no, fuck that. Oh, oh, okay. Well your ass ain't coming back then. That's too much like they ain't gonna do that. That's too much like fucking right. They want the players to do wrong. They want to find their asses so they can get more money back to the NFL. Because they know if they do that, all the motherfuckers will be in line. Shit. That don't make no sense. They make all this damn money and acting fools. That's, that's the problem right there. They want more money to act a bigger fool. Get somebody, right now, get somebody broke a million dollars. See, they don't spend that shit like water. They'll spend that shit in 20 minutes. But get one of us a million dollars, oh, we'd invest, we do this, we go buy, okay, well, I'm gonna buy this, and then I'm gonna put this aside, I'm gonna pay my bills over here, I'm gonna pay my house off, and then save the rest for a rainy day. Cause see, we humble. OJ Simpson gloves about to come out. Got the Super Bowl on the line. We right there. Ain't got a care in the world. I got a 20 year plan on my house. You know how old I've been in 20 years? They go pay cash for that shit. Here, here you go. Boy, if I could, man, don't know how good they got it, man. Don't make no sense. Don't know how good they got it. They gotta see, they gotta see without it first. And living at home don't count. Cause that's a safety net for you. Your mom and daddy was taking care of you. Don't make sense, man. Don't make sense. When you think about it like that, you be like, God damn. Think about that contract idea I just said. Think about how you get up and go to work every day. about 
that right now. Think about how tired you be in the mornings. Damn, I sure don't feel like this shit today. <laughs> you look at your wife and your kids, you be like, well, let me go on in there. Yep. Let me go on in the work. I got to keep things going, so let me go on and me go on get on up. And you see them fools and they get signing bonuses and shit. And, and granted, they worked hard for it. They played football. They're talented. They deserve it, you know. NFL, that's the market of the NFL. That's the nature of the beast. I get it. But goddamn, they still need to be shown and told. <laughs> so just calm down. Just, it's, it's crazy, man. Had their ass up at McDonald's. Yeah. Uniform and all. Gotta wear the hat. Gotta wear the apron. Grease stains and all. Z, Z, come back here and change this damn grease, boy. This is how your life can be if your ass don't leave these damn girls alone. But you can't tell people nothing. You definitely can't tell young folk nothing. They know it all. in trouble. I had a little cousin back in the day. I had to, he had got suspended. And uh, I had to pick him up. And uh, I'm telling him, hey man, you got to stop. You know, you got to stop. I know, man. I know. I know. I know, man. I know. I know. I know, man. I know. That's all young folk know how to say now. I know, man. I know. They know so much, but they're the ones in trouble. I said, okay, you you know every, everything I'm saying, you know, right? Man, I'm just tired of, man, I'm just tired of people talking to me. Well, if you're tired of people talking to you, bro, fix it. <laughs> fix it. But you know more than everybody else. But who's in trouble right now? Who ain't playing right now? Don't make sense. I'll play though. Let me call up Jason Gary. Hey, Jay, hey, you got that spot still open? I right, I'll bring my resume tomorrow. Huh? Yeah, I got plenty of experience. I played high school ball. I played a little college ball. I played some arena football too. Yeah. Uh-huh. I can be by there tomorrow. You 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 pay my plane ticket, I'll be out there. How much will I how much? Oh shit, give me a million dollars. Yeah. That's it. Five hundred thousand dollars signing bonus. Yeah, mm-hmm. That's all I want. Okay, I I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Just that simple. <laughs> See how easy that was? That's all I need. You got, you got, you got kids. You be suspended. I know, right? Just give me two million dollars. Give me about five hundred thousand dollars up front. I'm good. I can pay my house off. 
That's it. Put, put something back for my kids' college education when they get grown. So they ain't got to worry about getting student loans and all that crap that's sucking you in to doing that shit and going to college. That's it. But what do I know? I'm just a Dallas Cowboy fan. Everybody gonna be mad at me. You gonna have some people that's gonna be mad at me because of this video. But I'm the wrong person to get mad at because I ain't the one suspended. I ain't the one holding out. So don't get mad at me. Go knock on that door. I'm just an opinion. Opinionated person. I remember my ankle. <laughs> I'm gonna grow my damn ankle again messing around with these fools, man. I'm just, it's just, it's old, man. I'm just, I'm done. Oh, that's all I got, man. I done ran my mouth long enough. I done ran my mouth long enough. 1980 is tired, guys. I can't talk forever. Yeah, we are the un most unluckiest team ever. You never know. That's why. Now y'all see why I say that. That's another t-shirt. You never know. <sighs> mm. Quinn cop cheating? What? Uh, bro, what you talking about? What you talking about, bro? Remember honor from different strokes? What you talking about, Willis? Oh, bro, what you talking about, man? Cowboys abroad in the house. I know, man. It was fun talking. I don't mean it to be fun, no. I just be going on and on. Once I get started, it's, over. it's, it's hard to get me to stop. Someone say this steroids. Oh, Lord. Different stuff. Here we go. Here we go, guys. PEDs is cheating. Oh, Lord. Just when I was going to give him a pass. Lord have mercy. Montana 808, man, you missed it, big dog. You got to rewind it, man. <laughs> Just get your, get your finger and scroll, scroll across and rewind. <laughs> Mercy. Bro, I'm going to get out of here, guys. Performing enhancing is cheating, too. Oh, Lord. I, I can't take no more. Bro, I, I can't. I'm done, man. Y'all, I'm done. I'm done. 1980 is done for the day. I'm going to get ready for some football tonight, man. I hope y'all do, too. Hopefully, I hope y'all have a safe and good rest of your day, rest of your evening. Because I'm going to try to. After all this, I'm going to try to. I can't wait till Saturday. Finally see some football. Dallas Cowboy football. Dallas Cowboy scrimmage. We scrimmage the 49ers. 8 o'clock. Y'all catch the round table afterwards. Round table after the Cowboy 49er game this Saturday. Make sure y'all check us out. But I'm going to get out of here, man. Hard being a Cowboy fan. It really is. Like I always say, it ain't a check big enough. Not a check big enough to be a Cowboy fan now. We should get paid for this, man. But anyway, guys, make sure you stay Cowboyed up and prayed up, because you never know what the day is going to bring you. Holla, it's boy!